I recently had a post on how to quickly improve your green reading skills. One of the tips in that video was to have a consistent process that you used every time, the same process for reading the greens, so that you didn't miss anything. A lot of people have asked, what is that process? So today, here's the process that I use for reading the greens. Takes me about eight minutes to explain it, but it's worth watching through to the end because at the end you see me use this exact process that I'm explaining to drain a 60 foot side hill, downhill, very fast putt. Enjoy. So you start your green reading before you're ever on the green as you're walking up or riding up in the cart. You look around, the whole green, what's the terrain, all of that kind of thing. And the, the first thing that you want to think about is what's the general lay of the land. I'm up on the side of a mountain, there's another mountain across there and a big valley, so that's probably downhill and anywhere that way is uphill. That's the overall slope of the green. And then as you walk on the green, as you're making your way to your ball, you wanna look around and find, okay, what's the highest spot on this green? And I believe right now, I'm standing on the highest point on this green. And sometimes standing on the highest point of the green, I'll pause for just a minute and imagine what would a ball do if I rolled it from here? Which way is it going to break on this screen? Of course, now I'm throwing out balls. You can't do that, but you kind of get an eye. You can imagine if you just stand there and look at it, what they're going to do and how they're going to break. That seems to help me a lot get a feel for overall what this green is likely to do. like the one here, straight at the crest of this hill, went straight a foot to the right of it, rolled down the hill about 10 feet, which means balls are going to go that way on that end of the green, and it's going to influence them that way on this end of the green. Now the second highest point is straight across from me over there. You can tell just by looking, it's higher. So I have to know if I'm right in there for the target line, it might be a little bit uphill or it might come this way, but everywhere else on this green, that direction is definitely downhill. Now the next thing to do, and you're still walking towards your ball at this point, divide the green into four sections or quadrants. For instance, this area, to my left right now is one quadrant and everything in that area is going to go downhill that way and then maybe because of the second highest point a little bit right to left but definitely downhill that that direction all right quadrant two starts at that hill and goes off to the right and out here this is a huge green because i'm on a practice green but let's say quadrant three starts at that highest point and veers down this way to a, an almost flat area that's a little bit because of the overall slope of the terrain that way. And then quadrant four is going to be way down here where you have the third highest point on the green up there, the fourth highest point on the green up here, this crest that breaks here and you can see anything in that quadrant is going to tilt hard that way another thing that you look for as you're walking up to your ball and repairing your ball mark is where does the water run off of the green when it rains or when they get irrigation here's an obvious spot where water runs off the green you want to find those because that influences your role once you get good at this process, it doesn't take a long time. Here's an example of me walking up to the green, finding the high spot, looking around at the overall terrain, looking at the other people's putts, walking around 
the green all the way around my putt, taking a minute or a second to pause and read the other people's putts, and then continuing to walk, dividing the green into four quadrants as I do so, thinking about which way the ball is going to break in each section, looking at the last two or three feet near the hole to think about which direction my ball is going to break when it's my turn to putt. You can do all of these things very quickly so that you don't have to drag out the, grain, the game and waste time reading the green. Here's another example of me doing the same thing as I walk up to the green. I missed the green on this one, had to chip from about 30 yards off. Now as I walk up, I'm looking at other people who are chipping their balls up, seeing what directions their balls go, looking at the high spot, breaking the green into four quadrants. This is at Las Vegas National Golf Course. I know that the stratosphere is towards the far end of the green and on the left, and that's generally speaking the way things break. So now I'm finding the high spot on the green, walking around all four of the putts, and you can tell I haven't delayed the game or slowed things down. The other guys are just walking up. They haven't even gotten to their balls yet. But again, reading the green, going through the same process every time. Now you're using all this information you've been gathering to calculate the line and the speed. Remember, putting is 90% speed and 10% line. And also while you're going through this process, you want to think about what is my putt going to do in that last two or three feet nearest the hole and at the same time, you want to read the grain. A lot of golf courses, I live in Las Vegas and play on the West Coast, and our greens have very little grain, so I don't bother to read grain very often. Um, if your courses have lots of grain, you'll want to read that. Here's the critical thing. Look at the hole, and you'll notice on this hole, the circle up about 1 o'clock down to about 4. See how that's rough and jagged? That means that that's the way that the roots are growing, and when they cut the cup, they cut those roots. So this hole, the grain, is a little bit right to left. That means that if you were putting at this hole from the bottom left of this picture, you might have a putt that looks straight, but it's going to break a little bit to the right. If the grain is coming at you, then you have to hit the putt a little firmer. If the grain is going away from you, then the putt's going to be a little bit softer. Now with all that information, you stand behind your ball, choose a line or target, commit to that line or target, step up, set your putter on the line. By the way, we'll be putting up a video next week on alignment and how to choose a target and stroke the putt on that line, how to aim your putt. But you set up, you go through your routine, you stroke the putt, and roll the ball into the hole. And this one's about a 60 footer, side hill, downhill, and I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it was uh, perfect. Hit the raised cup and bounced off about six inches to the right. That's how you read a green.